one secret to success in negotiating, um, certainly in the case of trade agreements, uh, international trade agreements, but I think more broadly, uh, and whether it's with foreigners, whether it's an international context or even a domestic commercial context, uh, it is putting yourself in the other person's shoes, in the other person's head, ideally. What is the person on the other side of the table trying to get out of the deal? Um, you have to know what you're trying to get out of the deal. You really need to have a good sense of, of what your objectives are. And I'm thinking more in the terms of representing your country in a trade negotiation. That's been most of my experience. Uh, I've done some private sector M&A negotiations in the past. Um, and and in, when you're negotiating trade agreements, you've also had a lot of experience negotiating with other agencies, with the Congress, with private sector constituencies, with labor groups, environmental groups. So you've done a lot of negotiating at home before you ever sit down with the foreigners. But um, the key is always, what is the person or people, what do the people on the other side of the table want out of this deal? And then the key is, can you get a win-win out of the engagement? Is there a way of coming out with a, a sum that is greater than the parts. And usually in international trade deals, the answer to that is yes, because the pie can grow. You know, you can get um, a package that can benefit just about everybody. Um, there are going to be some constituencies, some groups that may be hurt or may worry about being hurt, and you have to look after them. Uh, but by and large, you can satisfy a whole mosaic of uh, constituencies, whether they are producers or workers or agricultural uh, suppliers, environmental groups. I mean, you really need to think about uh, the, the, um, the constituencies who will direct benefit, uh, who will benefit directly from your trade agreements, but also indirectly. You know, when is the other side facing an election? Um, where are they most worried about the votes coming from, right? Is it from agricultural areas? Is it Workers' Party? Is it environmental groups? I mean, you, you think about those things, and then you try to see, are there ways you can accommodate them, just as you're going to insist that they accommodate your interests and your national interests. Because what you're doing, if you are a U.S., you know, you're representing the United States of America, uh, you expect them to accommodate your national interests.